Hello guys, welcome to Reggae School of Fashion. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't skip those ads. Love you. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to take a native trouser measurement for a male child. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time of watching my video, this is Reggae School of Fashion. In some of my previous videos on this channel, I've uploaded a series of tutorials on kids wear, which have been linked up in the description area below. Kindly check them out after watching this particular one. Also, consider subscribing to my channel for regular notifications so that you won't miss any of my subsequent tutorials. I hope you do remember that watching ads on my videos is one major way you can encourage me in releasing more valuable content for your learning pleasure. Please, don't skip those hearts because that is the only way I get rewarded here on YouTube. My name is Bolaji and this is Reggae School of Fashion. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to take a native trouser measurement for a male child. And meet my model. Here is my model. In taking a native trouser measurement on a male child, the first measurement I will be showing you is the waist circumference measurement. When taking this measurement, it has to be taken firmly because the measurement is needed in cutting out the elastic rope. Purposely because this is a native trouser that has to do with elastic rope. So that is the purpose of the waist circumference measurement. In taking the waist circumference measurement, I will wrap my measuring tape around the waist of the boy. Okay, the measuring tape comes from the back, like this. So when you are taking this measurement, make sure your measuring tape falls exactly on the waist area. The waist is different from the stomach. This is his stomach and this is his waistline. Okay, even though you cannot locate the waist properly, so you can do this with the help of the trousers. So it has to be taken firmly as I said earlier because the measurement is needed in cutting out the elastic rope, not for drafting pattern. So, and here I have, I have 20.5 inches for his measurement. And because he's a child that is still growing, I will adjust my measuring tape to 21 inches. So for him, I will be using 21 inches in cutting out the elastic hole. The next measurement I will be showing you is a hip circumference measurement. And because this is a growing child, there is no much difference between the waist and the hip. But notwithstanding, I will still take the measurement around the fullest part of his hip. So here I have 23 inches. Then I will be adding extra one inch to the hip measurement. So I will have 24 inches. So the hip measurement is what will be inserted on the waistline when we are drafting the pattern. After taking the hip circumference measurement, the next measurement needed is the knee length measurement. Okay, so this measurement will be taken from the waist level, which is here, downwards to the knee point. That is the knee of the boy. Stand straight. Okay, then for him, I have 14 inches and I'll be adding extra half of an inch to that to make it 14.5 inches. Don't forget, always remember when you are sewing for kids, they are growing. So you have to add ease to their measurements. This ease is different from the one I will be adding when drafting the pattern. These values are to add extra inches to the measurements. After taking the knee length measurement, then I will take the knee circumference measurement. So this has to be taken by wrapping the measuring tape around his knee. 
So you can see the way I take this measurement, it is not tight. So it has to be free. So I have it a little bit free on him. And you can as well, if it is a grown up child, you can tell him to fold his leg. So you can see what I have. So for him, I will be using 12 inches as his knee circumference measurement. You can see the ease I had it on the knee area. It is about extra two inches. If the measurement is taken tight, I have 10 inches. This is tight. Okay. So I released my measuring tape to 12 inches. So which means I have about extra two inches as is on the knee area for him. The next measurement I will be showing you is the trouser length measurement. In taking the trouser length measurement, this has to be taken from the waistline by the side of the leg downward if the child is not standing properly make sure you instruct him to stand properly so i'll be taking the measurements like so but in this case because this is a growing child i will not stop on the bone i have on the ankle so i will extend the measuring tape to touch the floor so normally normally if i want to stop on the ankle here i have 24.5 inches okay but i will extend this downwards until it touches the floor i mean the measuring tape so here i have 26.5 so which means i've added extra two inches to the length of the trousers so that is how to take the trouser length on a growing child also when you are taking this measurement make sure your client is not looking down make sure your client is looking straight and make sure he's standing straight so always let your eyes be on him you know kids they can play very well so you make sure your eyes are on him tell him to stand properly when you are taking the measurement so that there will not be any issue after constructing the trousers okay so now that i've taken the trouser length measurement i will be showing you how to take the ankle circumference measurements in taking the ankle circumference measurement so i will put my measuring tape at the back of his leg like so and i will bring it up towards the front and i will have a finger in between my measuring tape so this is going to be a guide for me so make sure the measuring tape stays well at the back of the leg you can see what i have so with this i have 10 inches for the ankle circumference measurement but because it's still a kid i will add extra one inch to the exact measurement i have so instead of making use of 10 inches i will be making use of 11 inches for the ankle circumference measurement but if this measurement is for a grown-up man i don't need to add extra values raise up your leg okay you can see I'm able to remove the measuring tape from his leg while wrapping it. So this is how to take the ankle circumference measurement on a male child. The last two measurements I will be showing you are the crotch depth measurement and the thigh circumference measurement. Okay. So in taking the crotch depth measurement, it has to be the crotch circumference measurement. In getting the crotch depth measurement, I will be taking the crotch circumference measurement. Crotch circumference measurement divided by 2 gives us the crotch depth measurement. So which means the measurement I will be showing you now is the crotch circumference measurement. When I get to the drafting table, I will be dividing this measurement by 2. So that is what will give me the crotch depth measurement. In taking this measurement, my measuring tape will pass through in between its two legs. Okay? And it's going to be from the front waist level to the back waist level if you are taking this measurement on an adult but because this is a kid i will be taking this measurement from his navel this is his waist level so i will not start taking the measurement from the waist level i will extend my measuring tape to get to his navel this will help the child to be able to wear the trousers for a long period of time so i have this for the front stamp properly then at the back this is his back waist point 
so my measuring tape will not stop on that point i will take it up by one inch can you see what i have this is is back waist point on two inches so i will start taking the measurement from one inch which is here okay then at the front is going to be on this navel so here i have 19 inches but if it is from the back waist point to the front waist point what i have here is 16 inches so instead of making use of 16 inches i will be making use of 19 inches so which means i've added extra three inches to the crotch circumference measurement so divided by two i will have extra one and a half inches for the crotch depth measurement okay as i said earlier i took 19 inches for his crotch circumference measurement so for the crotch depth i will divide 19 inches by two which gives me 9.5 inches so which means for his crotch depth measurement i will be making use of 9.5 inches in drafting the pattern so that is how to take the crotch circumference measurement on a male chart so guys the last measurement i will be showing you is a thigh circumference measurement this measurement goes hand in hand with the crotch depth measurement so which means this measurement will be inserted on the crotch line okay so in taking this measurement i will wrap the measuring tape on its lap so the measuring tape passes through in between its two legs like so then i will bring it up to the fullest part of its thigh So you can see what i have here but this is where the measuring tape this is where the measurement is staying okay so for the actual measurement i have 15 inches but because this is a kid i will be adding extra one inch to that so instead of 15 inches i will have 16 inches for the tight circumference measurement so what you are seeing here is how wide the trouser will be can you see what i have so this is what controls the wideness of the trousers if you make it smaller that means the wideness of the trousers will be reduced if you make it bigger it means you will have the trouser bigger than the previous one can you see what i have here so this is what controls how wide or narrow you want the trousers to be okay so for him i will be making use of 16 inches and because this is a kid kids need a very free outfit on them so that when they start playing or jumping up and down the trousers will not tear off or rip off okay so when you are making trousers for kids make sure you make it free as much as you can it must not be too tight or too fitted thank you so much guys for watching this video to the end if you find this video helpful in one way or the other kindly give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for regular notifications thank you once again and i will see you in my next video but till then always do remember there is no elevator to success you have to take the stairs <laughs>